we're back for the NAB Show Centennial Event, the pinnacle event for all in the global broadcast, media, and entertainment industry. Capitalize, content, and create. We've got everything you could possibly need right here in Vegas. Ashley with In Broadcast, joining me is Alex of ST Engineering iDirect. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. So can you tell me a little bit about the company and what you're doing right now in the media and broadcasting industry? Sure. So um, ST Engineering iDirect has been uh, you know, one of the, the leading hardware service providers in uh, media distribution, media broadcast distribution and contribution um, for quite some time. And so what we are looking at nowadays is we're focusing more on um, you know, what our customer needs are. And those needs are really focused on the fact that video is a, a, a ubiquitous and a requirement for not just media and broadcast, but video applications across multiple market verticals. So we're looking a lot more at how video applies across other market vertical, verticals, um, not just media and broadcast. So that could be maritime, it could be aero, it could be um, IoT, those kinds of things. But So what trends have you noticed currently? Yeah, um, well obviously in the last, say, 10 years, we see a lot of transition from traditional linear broadcast um, lay back, sit in front of the couch, uh, linear viewing, to streaming and on-demand type content. Um, our customers are really focused on meeting the needs of the, their customers, um, so meeting the needs of the, the streaming consumer. So we have really been trying to focus on uh, helping our customers with IP content distribution, um, and multi-platform distribution via DTH, DTT, et cetera. So really focused on meeting the needs of our customers so that they can meet the needs of their customers. And what are you currently showcasing right now here at NAB? So we're showcasing two things. Uh, first, we have our um, um, MCX 8000 satellite gateway, which we introduced at uh, NA, or excuse me, IBC last year, so about nine months ago. It's a high density, high availability, um, multiple redundancy um, uh, gateway, satellite gateway that is has hot swappable modems, uh, services DTH, uh, DTT, IP, or streaming content distribution. So it's a it's a very uh, hefty and dense uh, piece of hardware for our industry uh, customers. And then we are also showcasing Skyflow, which is. Um, a unique native IP over satellite content distribution solution. And so what we're doing is we are essentially extending um, OTT reach outside of just terrestrial means. We're able to take an OTT type model uh, to uh, unconnected locales. So whether that's the mountains uh, in Peru, which we just struck a deal with the government of Peru to do so, uh, to bring remote learning uh, and broadcast uh, to remote locations, but um, we were able to do that with um, you know, OTT, remote learning, any kind of video-centric application, we can bring native IP over satellite distribution. I love that. And can you talk any more about what we can expect for as far as uh, new developments in the near future? Absolutely. So, you know, with media and broadcast, as well as the satellite industry, having gone through some major change in the last 10 years, we're taking a good hard look at how multiple applications and multiple um, technologies kind of coexist together. So we are looking at um, how, um, for medium broadcast, how you know, 5G, non-geo stationary uh, satellites and cloud are converging together um, and how that might look for our customers in the next few years. So we're taking a good hard look at that. Um, obviously, we want to meet the needs of our customers the best we can. Um, so this is what we're looking at, and we're excited about the future. Absolutely. Adapting to the customer trends yes. and all the things. It was great speaking with you today. I hope you have a great rest of the show. Thank you. You Thank too. Thank you.